Say, look, we made it. We're fine, ma'am. Okay, we're mostly fine, ma'am. Okay, let's just go fix up. Somebody's been damaging my ship and they're an idiot. Ruptured vessel <laughs> from Hollow Knight. Lovely. Well, hello, everyone. And welcome back to the blistering deeps of Dredge here on the backlog. We've got quite a story ahead of us. We've got a few things we need to go grab. And I think they're right up over here. So we've grabbed one of them. Let's go get the other two and finish the Devil's Spine today, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. And then we'll make our way down to the Stellar Base and now get out of here. Dirty, scary nastiness. I should have picked up some explosives, shouldn't I? And I need that abyssal rod so I can capture that big boy. All right, fish. Where are you? I have in the interim done... Uh, let me just show you. I've done a whole pile of things. Uh, and I've got several monies. And I've, I've gotten <laughs> several fish. I think there is only one... Uh, yes, there's only one... Volcanic fish that I haven't found. It's na the aberration of the uh, pale skate here. Oh well. Yeah, I should have brought some explosives. Huh? -huh. We'll go. We'll go the long way. It'll be fine. There's no problem. It does mean we have to go through these unsettling fish but that's okay they only slow us down forever and we're just checking on this what do we need for this a stone shrine an upright slab bears a carving of two pale bottom dwellers hiding from their fate a lower slab holds two shallow groups okay so we need and we need a pale skate and I I don't know what this one is hold on okay so it's just a normal frilled shark looks like Maybe a frilled shark. Yeah, we're going to call it a frilled... No, that, that's not a frilled shark. That's got the wrong... Yeah, it's got the wrong bottoms. Hold on. Oh, there it is. There it is. It's abyssal, which I can't grab, but it is in the devil's spine. Oh, no. That means we've got to go get the abyssal rod, which means we are in the wrong place. This is like endgame, apparently. You turkeys. Okay, well, let's go to the other place. Oh, hello, you. Do you happen to have research materials? That's the only thing I actually care about at this point. All the other resources I have in abundance. Doubloons! All right, everyone, we're back. We have returned to the research station. Now, was there something we were supposed to grab here? Uh, okay, we've grabbed all the things there, apparently. Nope, okay. Nothing to grab. There is some junk over here, though. And a little bit of hull damage. Ooh! Research parts! This is what I needed. Thank you. More, more research parts. Very nice. I can do all the research. It'll be great. And I'm just going to stay out of this massive deep in the middle here. Just for my own sanity's sake. Me personally, not my character. All right, what do we have here in the Stellar Basin? We got something in the middle here. So, yeah, what is that? What I've It's been a while. What's, what's our pursuit here? Search for relics, yeah. We got to find the ring in the Stellar Basin and the watch in the Devil's Spine. Okay, catch rare fish. I found those, but they're abyssal, so I can't get them either way. Like the statue, find the tablets. Oh yeah, we got one more tablet to find. Yes, okay. Catch a tarball. 
collect samples. I need to help researcher collect all the samples she needs. Collect samples, one glowing octopus, and one firefly squid, and one aurora jellyfish. Okay. All right, so let's go do a little bit of fishing in the area. Some jellyfish and some squid. I don't think I've caught you before. I have, though. And what are you? Oh, nope. It's another one of the crabs. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, those are great. The game has mimics. Why am I always drawn to the games that have mimics, huh? Oh, oh, it's got a thing. It's got a refined metal in there. We don't need any more refined metal. Thank you. So it's really nice. You don't really have to. Oh, hi. Hello. There's a skinny brown dog leaping around in the shallows. Occasionally it lunges at the water, snapping at some small silvery fish. Its technique is ineffective. Disembark? <laughs> you jump off the boat into thigh-high water. The dog stops chasing fish and focuses on you. Hmm. Slowly approach? You wade towards the shore. As you get nearer, the dog backs up a little. It sits. Hmm. Slowly approach? You start to walk closer to the dog, but it runs away nervously and hides in some bushes. After a few moments, it emerges again. Okay, so we gotta throw some fish. You throw some scraps towards the dog, which land in the sand. The dog eats them, along with a mouthful of sand. Call for the dog. You make soft, encouraging noises, and the dog cautiously approaches. It stops just out of your reach. Uh, oh yeah, hold out some fish. You hold out some fish scraps in the palm of your hand. The dog approaches slowly, but soon begins licking at them. Pat the dog. Oh, you reach out and generally pat the dog. Its eyes follow your hand, and it seems to understand that you're not a threat. Just gonna keep patting the dog. Gonna be here a while. You make your way back to the boat. As you're wading out, you hear some sloshing of four legs cutting through the water. You stop and turn around. The dog is standing a few paces behind you tilts its head questioningly. Yeah, let it follow you. You continue, this time with the dog alongside. Its tail is wagging so hard it beats the water into a froth behind it. When you get to the boat, you turn around to pull the dog on board. Oh, it's a little puppy. You lift the dog onto the deck. It walks around briefly before curling into a ball and looking up at you. Maybe you could find this dog a more permanent home. Yeah, okay, we got a dog. We I was wondering where the other pursuits were. Find the dog a home. I could try to find a more permanent home for the dog. All right, so we got a dog. We are missing two pursuits. There are two pursuits we have not found. And then we will 100% this game for sure. Oh, there's more wood right here, and I just can't use it. Yep, don't like that one at all.
Oh, <laughs> they explode. Lovely. Oh, hello. What are you? Aha. Uh -huh. You are the squids. Octopuses. I did need one of these, didn't I? Glowing octopus. One glowing octopus, firefly squid, and aurora jelly. These are more glowing octopuses. Yep. Firefly squid and glowing jelly. Oh, we got an ugly one. Medusa octopus. Oh, are these the firefly squid? Very well might be. Firefly squid. And what's the last one? Aurora jelly. Aurora jelly. Very good. Are you Aurora Jelly? No, you're more far, far school. It's Firefly Squid. Where's the Aurora Jelly? Oh, what's this? Waves, waves lap up at a floatsome collected on the beach. Nestled in the center is a wooden chest. Oh, look inside. A large scrap of paper. I thought we were done with all the awesomeness, but no, apparently there's more. We found a little something extra. And a piece of map. Well, can we go dunk both of these? Hello? Oh, hello again. What do you need? Uh, yeah, okay, so... Uh, oh, this dog needs a home, yeah. Mm. A dog, oh, let me see. The dog bounds over to the researcher. She crouches down to pet the dog, grinning. The dog licks, licks her chin in response. I could definitely take this one off your hands, and I love the company. Are are you sure? Yes, you should take the dog. Um, it, it, mm, this feels like there's someone I'm supposed to give it to, but, I mean, she's over here, she's all alone, she's lonely, she needs a dog. Take the dog. <gasps> Yes, thank you. Oh, we're going to be such good friends. He can be my assistant. Suddenly, the dog stands upright and begins to retch, its stomach heaving. Seconds later, it vomits out a wet glob under the floor. Something glistens through the mucus. Oh, oh, um, that's interesting. I suppose that's yours if you want it. Yeah, I'll take it. I can clean the rest up. Uh, don't worry about it. Oh, yes, uh, also, the specimens... Take a look at the list of specimens I need. Please drop them off here. You might need to experiment with different fishing strategies to collect all of them. Oh, do I have to dredge? For it is coastal and you have to catch it uh, in a net. Okay, so that's why I couldn't find it. Makes perfect sense. Here, have this and have this. And then we'll go dredge, apparently. There it is. Okay, we found it. Quick, 
to the research station. But not over, not over that. So not that quick. Slow to the research station. <laughs> oh, excuse me, ma'am. I found a thing for you. It's a jellyfish. I hope you enjoy it. Take a look. Yes, take a look at the list. There you go. Thank you. Looks like you've caught all the surface specimens I need. But, uh, yes, I, I do also need some from deeper down. But that's going to be a problem. Why is that a problem? I developed a device to retrieve samples from the abyssal zone. Uh, this was over in the other research outpost before the attack. I have an idea of how to keep the creature at bay long enough to collect these samples, but while I work on that, I need you to retrieve some prototype parts. Carefully. I suggest you do it during the day. I wouldn't want you to be on the reef at night. Is there anything else? Uh, yes. Um, no, I, we're good. Let's go. During the day. She doesn't know me at all. Say, look, we made it. We're fine, ma'am. Okay, we're mostly fine, ma'am. Go to the laboratory, find the place. Yes, where do you look? Uh, inspect the equipment. Yes, there's the equipment. Okay, we found the thing. Go! Only a little bit damaged. We're fine. Ma'am, I did it during the night. <laughs> Here's your prototype parts. Excellent. Let me assemble the device for you. This should allow you to catch specimens from much greater depths. It's a little bit slow, but you may be able to make some improvements. I may be able to make some improvements. You got it. Um, let's put that in storage then. And slap this bad boy down. Now, I've developed a repulsion machine that produces a bright light and emits a high-pitched noise. It should deter the creature from attacking. Or enrage it. I'm not sure. Connected to the research outpost generator. Uh, you'll have to return and re-engage it every few hours, but other than that, it's completely automated. Great. Now take a look at this list of specimens. Remember, you'll want to install and activate the machine before attempting to collect these. You might also need to improve that equipment I gave you to catch some of these. Okay. Is there anything else? Yes. I, we're good. Let's go. Oh, can I, can I research this now? I can. Bottomless lines. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, out. Okay. Let's just go fix up. Somebody's been damaging my ship and they're an idiot. There it is. So it's Abyssal and Hadel. At 38% fishing speed. And this one is just a vessel, a vessel at 11. Oh, yeah. And let's just, let's just put that away. We don't need that anymore. We're good. Okay, we can now go... And hunt for Abyssal and Hadel. Hadelweiss, Hadelweiss. Actually, with both of these rods, we can do everything, right? We can do oceanic, mangrove, volcanic, coastal shallows. Very nice. Let's drop this off and go find some fish. Hook it up to the generator. Here's the thing. Oh, 
a small object falls out. Very nice. Oh, it's doing the thing. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Sound kind of like the repulsion technique. But different. All right. We can finally do some official. Abyssal official. It's official. We're doing the abyssal. Oh yeah, he's he's uh, he's retreated for a time. Let's grab him quick. We'll just grab one of these. Oh, earrings, good. Oh, you. You look like fish. You are fish. Well, sort of. Just getting one of each. One of each, you understand. Do I have one of these? I think I have one of these. But this one is special. He's my friend. Oh, ruptured vessel <laughs> from Hollow Knight. Lovely. Well, let's just pick this up while we're here. So it's not tempting me during the day. Lovely. Oh, yes. And this one. A gulper eel. Oh, no. It stopped chiming. That means we're done. That means stop going for the fish. Okay, we have one of these already. All right, let's turn the chime on again. And then we'll fish during the day and hopefully get... Oh, no, something slithers into your cargo. It's infected. Ew. Oh, yeah. Let's look at our pursuits. Collect all the samples. Collect all the samples she needs. Anglerfish, stop light loose jaw, giant amphipod, and a snailfish. Gulper eel. I don't think that's one of them. Giant amphipod, snailfish, anglerfish, and what was the other one? Amphipod, snailfish... Corporeal anglerfish. Oh, a stoplight loose jaw is the other one we need. A stoplight loose jaw. Activate the machine. Yes. Oh, look, there's a thing here, and it looks important. It looks ringish. A jewel encrusted relic. A sickly stench rises from your cargo hold. Oh no. Is it infecting all of the things? Oh no. All right, let's go deposit these quickly before everything becomes rotten and infected and nasty in the state of Denmark. Hope it's okay that they're slightly... <laughs> yes, here. About the specimens. Quick, take this one. It's perfect. There's no problems with it. Yeah, that looks nasty. 
Is there anything else? Okay, yeah, no, they're fine. We just need that loose jaw. It's abyssal. Oh, these look creepy. This has got to be... Yeah, there it is. There we go. I'll just take you, Mr. Loose Jaw. Thank you. Now, I think we've got them all. Ma'am? I have good news and bad news. They're both that I've got the fish for you. <laughs> Here you go. I have good news and bad news. <laughs> How dare you? Which you want to hear first? Oh, the bad news. The bad news is that the samples you retrieved from the basin have dangerously high counts of cellular mutations. The good news is that I've honed in on what's causing the abnormalities in the ecosystem. This all points to one thing. That thing in the basin is harmful to life at a cellular level. It damages everything around it, whether passively or with intent. I need to write up a report on my findings. S sorry, our findings. Immediately. Maybe now they'll take me seriously. Oh, how rude of me. You've done all this for me, and I've got... I've not got much to thank you with. Um, you should have this. She opens a drawer and pulls out a book. Sheepishly, she hands it to you. This is something I wrote during my studies. I think it'll be useful to you. Thanks again for your help. I'd recommend that you avoid the area. It doesn't seem to be safe near the basin. No, you're absolutely right. Not safe at all. Not safe at all. But we can turn on uh, a plan for the future. I have no idea what that could be. But let's see here. We've only got two more Hadel fish to find, and they're both of this guy. And uh, we've got a bunch of abyssal fish, abyssal fish to find. Lovely. <laughs> oh, including aberrations of the things that we need to catch. Well, I think the only thing left to do this episode is to turn in this relic we found. You walk in and place the jewel-encrusted ring on a table by the collector. His eyes widen. We're certainly making excellent progress now. And I know what you're thinking. An item like this would fetch a fortune at any auction. But for us, its value transcends material wealth. Regardless, you had your reward. Once more, he opens the book, dust pouring from the pages as he reads aloud. You begin to feel weak, but you're rooted to the spot, knees on the verge of buckling. As he fishes, finishes speaking, you feel blood rushing back to your legs. A strange feeling of power grows in your chest. We're so close. One more remains. I loathe to suggest it, but the abyssal plain and the approach to Devil's Spine is a likely candidate. See what you can find. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Nope, I'll be gone, thank you. What did I just get? Atrophy. Reap the corpses of any fish in your sights. Long range. Oh, my. Okay. Well, that's interesting. And we'll explore that next time when we return here in the backlog. Thank you all for joining me. Oh, it's coming after me. Yep. No, it's just coming. It's just coming. <laughs> oh, fun. We will come back and be scared by crazy tornadoes next time when we return here on the backlog.